Hello YouTube, welcome back to Panzercore. And in this mission, we are at the east coast of the United States on Guderian. And yes, this is finally back. The hard mode let's play. Didn't have the time to record anything for this. But finally we're getting back to it, so this time we have to do this in 17 turns. Not going for the decisive on Guderian, of course, since we don't need it. So let's go. Obviously a lot of upgrades going on. As always, once you reach the United States. <coughs> strategically placing all our units. Looting already potential fighter traps, making sure I have everything where I need it. Falchim Jaegers are being used. So let's see what we can do here. Obviously, as always, trying to get rid of the submarine. Bombing it, gone it is. So now our level bombers, which I couldn't afford to upgrade to uh, jet bombers, but this should be good enough. Couldn't get rid of the destroyer, so I'm gonna block it. If I block its movement, then it can't fire. And then I'm arranging the gauntlet for the units that will pass us here along the coast. Protecting my bomber, attacking the town and then carefully arranging certain traps while hiding my bombers. Always I'm putting the fighter traps in a way that uh, artillery ships, not sure how the allies would actually find out which ships have artillery on them, but I guess they do. And that's exactly where I'm going to trap them. Lots of fleet movements. That'll stop soon enough. Stop the destroyer. One fighter trap. Now the tanks move into position. the submarine that's bad I'm gonna try and block it I'm getting rid of that with the battleship and that's a dangerous cruiser we need to get rid of that guy nobody can be allowed to detect us down here the Falchim Jaegers who already intercept yeah this destroyer is one will come under attack there's no way to avoid that secondary fleet is waiting in the south as always but these guys we have to get rid of
it's not actually good if you outright destroy stuff for the fighter trap because then the next one will have a chance to attack the same target but so far yeah see but so far it's still working out Got rid of the submarine, that's great. Now we need to um, make use of some mass attack bonus. Locking this guy because we can't let him get anywhere near our ships. Near our transport ships. Still not trying to land. Still setting traps. There's more than enough Air Force still left. We're treating everything out of vision now that I uh, don't have the necessary fighters anymore. Offering them different targets, taking everything else out of view. And yeah, that destroyer is toast. Big hit on one of our light cruisers. That's not so bad. One destroyer down. Better it than one of my transport ships. That, unfortunately, is the end of one of our light cruisers. That's better. Not completely annihilating it. Unfortunately, something in the back gets attacked. So now we need to wipe out the rest of the US Air Force. One bomber that will get away. That's not such a big deal. Now that most of those destroyers are dealt with. safely move in our submarine and already start bombarding their big ships. No more fighters to defend them. Now we can move in with our transport ships. Still blocking everything, moving out of vision range of that bomber. Already trying to predict where that bomber will go.
might be counterintuitive that I land so late, considering that we need to be fast on Guderian, but there's no sense in attacking sooner here. You just get wiped out by the US Air Force. One of those lever bombers can easily one-shot one of my transport uh, transport craft, so there's no use in that. Falchimigas are ready to land. And we really need to take care of these uh, battleships. That has already almost completely wiped out their entire battleship force. And our battleships will now take the rest. Decided to go for the destroyers here instead, because as long as their destroyers can't take out my submarine, my U-boats, the remaining battleship can't get anywhere near where it needs to go. Taking hits here, but that needs to go, that coastal battery. It would also be nice if we can get rid of that radar tower because it's blocking one of my landing sites. And we got the escaping bomber, so... Entire US Air Force has been destroyed. We go into range of the coastal gun because I don't have all the time in the world. And it's low enough that it probably don't won't do too much damage. We need to hurry up a little bit now. Taking strategic airfields with the Falchim Jaegers. Absolutely reinforcing that one thing down there. Landing my tanks before anybody can react to them. I 
And that's the last of their battleships. Sending my destroyers down to detect the rest of the fleet when my gunships help out with the landings. Big hit there. And that thing really needs to go. So does that infantry. Really fortifying these cities down there. I wish they wouldn't have done that in the south. Because that's where I only have my Falchenjäger, no artillery or the panzer support down there. But that means we will make faster progress up here. And maybe we can send reinforcements down there a little bit faster. First airfields are under control. That area is now safely under our control. And our planes have a chance to land. those towns under control already sending in the level bombers from there on we now need to spread out and try and get some of the objectives somehow American send in the mechanized forces. Time to take them out. Or I bring in the heavy units to the front.
that's that. Now they lost eyes on us. And they have no idea where we are. Now we need to move, and fast. The Northern Fudge Maker uh, could see that there is uh, way too much resistance there. So I'm sending the other one south. Unfortunately, they will run into resistance too. But there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. Running into massive artillery fire. There's nothing I can do there. You have rocket artillery there. There's no way I can take that out without artillery without uh, armored support, especially since it's exactly in the center, so I can't attack any of the outlying uh Units. Can't attack the perimeter. Need to retreat from there. If I can get to the airfield, I can uh, get them into planes again and drop somewhere else. Getting the heavy units to block. Well, I blocked the city with the lighter tanks. Putting in, setting up an ambush for these guys. Moving to position to take the next couple of towns. And taking out the last radar tower at the coast. At least in our sector. Digging out the next town. That'll be easy to take it. Once we get in that situation. Unfortunately, that wasn't the trap, but attacking the Yak Panther like that, not the best of ideas. But now a Yak Panther is severely damaged. Time to retaliate. Pressing these guys enough so my Panthers can take them out without risk. I'm 
then my heavy units move forward again. Weakening that one so I don't lose another potentially useful unit. The Yak Panther is not such a big deal. Of course, it's going to cost me tons of prestige to repair that. But I don't need it anymore. M most of the enemy armor force has already been decimated now. That's that for this town. Carefully moving behind my uh, hunter screen. Hopefully, we'll soon be able to take out that Pershing. Brought in a railgun, and unfortunately, this Falchmega runs into exactly the same problems. And we'll have to retreat from that town as well. So this isn't going so great. Neither is that. That's it for the Pershing. I need to rush my panzers down to help out with the failed attacks by the Falchenegers. They didn't completely fail, they did actually take all the airfields down there, so that's a major win, win already, but they couldn't advance any further from there.
Hunters come to the aid of the Falchimjägers. Fast tanks rushing south. Well, the heavy battalions go for Fort Knox. These guys can advance like this, protecting each other. There's no way that infantry can do anything. Neutralizing some port towns. These are the strategically important airfields. And now with the scout, this gives my Air Force complete superiority. There's nothing they can do. I have the entire area under control. Now let these slide. I need to move forward. I can take that by rail or with scouts or anything. Need to be fast here. And stick around and take cities with my regular units. I'm going in with a heavy tank. Trying to draw this artillery away from its support. Got one of them. But I need to get in there and take out that rocket artillery. the panther to go around in my own rocket artillery as fast support. That's the most dangerous unit gone.
Opening in the Gebirgsjäger. And the damaged tank can take all these neutralized targets now. That was also not so great. That cost me a lot. Working on that central position. Get, my infantry gets pounded there. Absolutely devastating attacks. Yeah, I'm willingly attacking into this because I know after that there's gonna be no more ammo for that thing. And I can finally move in. And here I'm doing the same with the Yak Tiger just to get rid of most of the ammo of this stupid crap. Finally, here we're getting rid of that. making progress. To get rid of that anti aircraft gun, I can start bombarding here. Finally, now it's open season.
In we are. It's the last turn. We need to get everything. Bombarding the crap out of this guy just to get him out of there. And that's that. Ordnax completely under control. And that's that. So, we've done it on Guderian in 17 turns. Everything important is under our control. Just one airfield left to take. So, next time, it's gonna be Munstein. That's gonna be interesting. Until then, keep your heads up, folks. I'll see you on the next one.